great. Okay, Boomstick versus Ouija. I think Ouija, yeah, Boomstick's the Falcon, Ouija's the Samus. Yeah, this there match, are a lot of uh, older school players here playing Falcon. Uh, Taiki Shingaki is also here. He said I have he's, no idea uh, he's, he's like an old school player who was super good. I think he was like one of the best in DFW for a long time. And uh, he's back, and he wants to learn melee. All right, well. Oh, God. We're just seeing up Bs right away. Um, so this matchup is traditionally considered one of Samus's worst. Um, the the general design of Samus is that like she's kind of a Street Fighter character and that like she's very neutral heavy. She'll play uh, she'll play with her normals a lot. She has really good tilts, really good jab, and um, she doesn't have a good punish game or combo game. But it's also really hard to punish her fall speed and weight. Ooh, he died yeah, straight out on that knee. Unfortunately, Captain Falcon is one of the only characters in this game who's really really good at punishing her falling weight. Yeah, exactly, and like. Him having an up throw that's weight independent and just like also being able to follow up at earlier percents with down throw into knee or up air puts her in a, a position where she constantly has to DI out to put herself off stage or DI in and hope that they like throw the knee then. So you have to guess when the Falcon wants to end the combo and a lot of times if you guess wrong you're just going to die. Yeah, she has it rough in the neutral game too. Spaced neutral airs just kind of destroy everything. Yeah. Um, of course, they'll get anti aired by her normals because her normals are super good. But if a Falcon is, you know, he's so fast, he's on top of you all the time and he's spamming these aerials right outside of your range, it's really hard to throw out those moves without getting hit. So right there, we saw that F tilt on shield, and it was a, it was a pretty poor F tilt on shield, considering that where, like, where you saw her, her legs start to hit the edge of the shield was at her knee. You want to be hitting tiptoes uh, because, like, her hitboxes are all even in terms of, like, there's no sweet spot on forward tilt. It's just forward tilt. Right. So you want to make sure you're at max range because that's where you get the most potency out of it. It comes out frame six, and it's a total of 31 frames. So it's relatively safe on shield just because of how fast it is. Uh, yeah, ooh, like that. Go. Yeah, and then he <laughs> caught with the up tilt on the whip grab. Tip Whoa. up tilt's also really good, too, because a lot of times it'll cause you to slide back against the shield, and it makes it really, really hard, and the only way you can punish is, like, wave dash forward out of shield. Yeah. Um, conversely, as Falcon, one of the ways that you can really get in on Samus is by running in and shielding to make her misspace those tilts, because if she misspaces those, you can get out and hit her with pretty strong aerials that set up into combos. Got no jump. Get over there, dude. Ooh. Oh. He missed the crouch. I assume he wanted, like, crouch F tilt or something like that, which would have been pretty all right. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the bomb, though. Let's go. I'm about it. Samus is broken. Samus only is her projectile busted. can, or not projectile, only her recovery can kill you. Mm. But Fox, though. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that character. Do we not? No. I feel like I everyone. Not. Oh, no, he just ran off. Nah, he was like, he was like I don't want this. Man. That I don't sucks. blame him. If you've ever played against Falcon and Samus and the Falcon knows what he's doing, it's just feels it bad. feels pretty bad, I bet. Yeah, and it's just like we saw it. there was a there was a sequence there where the Samus got stomped like three times. When you're Samus, you're like, I'm gonna crouch cancel, and then Samus is like, I'm just gonna step on your head and you're gonna take a lot of damage. It blows up it blows up crouch and uh, yeah, it puts you in a position where Samus usually is just gonna like tech in place or tech roll away and just, you just immediately lose positioning. Yeah, and her rolls are pretty bad, right? Her tech rolls are okay. Uh, her actual rolls are just unusably bad. They're just super, super slow, and like she doesn't have good data on them in terms of iframes. Oh, that sucks. Just kind of go up there and you punch her while she's a ball. <laughs> uh, going to Dreamland. Personally, I disagree. I assume that Fountain was banned because Falcon. At which point, you want to go to a stage like um, Yoshi's Story because you're going to get smothered, or you're not going to get smothered, but like. You can't corner pressure on a stage like this, and you lose access to platforms unless you double jump. So, ooh, recovered really low there. Um, yeah, Falcon loves this stage because he's just like, I'm gonna run around forever and never commit to anything. He also has a top platform. Mm -hmm. One of the things, it's cool that you mentioned, uh, it's hard to corner pressure on this stage, uh, especially against Falcon because a lot of characters, especially Falcon, can make it to that side platform really fast. And one of the ways that you keep people from getting past you is by up tilting and it covers a platform above you like it would on Yoshi's Story. Yeah. But it can't here. Yeah. It's like a free get out and she has to really commit to like a full hop nair or like wave dash back to kind of cover that or react to it. And either way, it kind of, it just kind of lets Falcon go. Yeah, she doesn't really have good sharking options for platforms. Like, Falcon can, like, still short hop up air and, like, cover most of the platform and push you forward into whatever he wants because he's Falcon. And Samus is just like, ah, I'm going to commit super hard to, like, <laughs> full hop dare and, like, hope I hit your tech. Things like that. Um, 
And then if you're like that really that really patient good at the ledge with the wave lands, Falcon, you're just kind of waiting while you're moving around all scary like that. She yeah, makes yeah. the commitment and you say, ah, I am Falcon and you are above me. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Man, being above an opponent is Samus, like, ooh. ooh. I like that. <laughs> that was cute. Did you see Luigi's face? Yeah, he was just like, all right. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't be mad about stuff like that. Dude, wall jump into you're dead is always fun. Oh. oh that was actually a really smart up air. Uh, up air is pretty, a pretty fast aerial, and she does have actually a three-frame jump squat, which is kind of weird when you consider how like bulky really? of a character she is. Yeah. Um, she's, she's got the highest short hop in the game. She's got one of the fastest uh, jump squats, and also all of her aerials are seven frames uh, landing leg when L canceled. She's got the lowest landing leg in the game. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. That's crazy. It's just hard to notice when she stays in the air for as long as she does. Yeah, or, you know, spend oh. so much time on the ground. Almost oh. almost got the risings there. Uh, How did that, I do that? Uh, when you air dodge, there's... Well, well, I don't know exactly, but I'm assuming that the game is like, at this point in the air dodge, your momentum of the direction you put stops. And you can interrupt like when it says that by inputting a, a tether. So you air dodge up, and then like right at the start of that, you tether, and it's just like I'm just gonna launch. That makes sense. It, if you do it like frame perfectly, it's about one and a half times as high as screw attack will go. Wow, that's that's a lot. It's also a different type of special fall that has less end lag than if you were to land on the stage with screw attack. Huh? Yeah. Samus's recovery is super interesting. She has it's so many options. Super versatile. Yeah. It's kind of hard to edge guard Samus, although, uh, ooh. God! <laughs> Goodbye. Unless you're Falcon, in which case you don't really have to care about the bombs that much. Um, you Fal can outspace all of them. Samus, Samus's recovery is a little overrated in my opinion. If you attack at the back of the bomb, so like, she'll lay the bomb here and she can float to like here or here. If you attack, come on screen. If you can attack here where like she'll fade back or whatever to, to like, because you're going to come out and you're going to be like, I'm going to threaten you. And she's like, I'm going to get away from your attack and then like double jump, near, like hopefully reverse near you or just like continue to recover. Uh, it's it's really scary to like attack her then. But when you're a character with like like Falcon with up air and you're just like, I'm going to swing out there and like clank. Or when you're puff and you're just like, <laughs> back air. Uh, it, be it becomes a game of just like, I'm going to hit at the back and like you have to be really patient and just like lay bomb and like fall. And then you force the low recovery, and at that point it's just like, well, Samus can only go one place.